What's up my friends, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Here we are with Eridan and we're back at camp here. We did all of Ostagar. Um, I guess we gave Kaelin some kind of respite. Well, Kaelin has infinite respite now. Um, we gave Alistair at least a little bit of respite. And we, you know, sent Kaelin away on his way. We don't really, like, going into RP version of this, like, we don't really know how humans do their customs, kinda when it comes to they're dead. So I guess we did it the best way we probably could. At least he deserved a decent burial or pyre, whatever it is. But yeah, Ostagar's done. We found his little secrets about him and Emperor Selene, and then we got all his uh, gear, which I'll maybe use? I don't know, it just depends if we can, uh, like see, it's like incredibly worse than what we have because what we have is tier seven. So we mm, probably won't use it, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to some people at camp here and then I'm gonna go to, to Denim Room and do Liliana's thing and pick up some more missions while we're there. So let's go ahead and just talk. Yes. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> I cannot teach you, no, but any other mages that cared to learn, yes, I could do that. Send whoever you wish my way, and I shall teach them what I can in the camp, provided they possess the will to even make the attempt. Okay, well, that is done. You know, I was half expecting... Yes? like to discuss something personal we are in camp so tis as good a time as any yes sir we can just go ahead and kiss her um huh i was half expecting us to get something going with morgan here and we still have not maybe i screwed up by not taking that kiss talking about a kiss or something I don't know, friends. Let's talk to some more people, though. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Uh, I guess thanks, then. You're welcome. So, will you tell me why you were caged now? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. So, exactly what happened? I told you before that I was sent here. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the darkspawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. Well, it sounds like what happened to us at Ostagar, man. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke, I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. Did you believe them? I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. Uh, well, that's pretty freaking terrible, Stan. I know I cannot justify what I have done. My honor is forfeit. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter unarmed and alone to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. I mean, could you still search for it then? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Where did you fight the Darkspawn last? 
near Lake Callan had. Well, I guess we'll try to go find it, Stan. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. Cool. Lots of approval from Stan. I don't know. Let me know about Morgan, man, because I feel like we should have her freaking relationship going on here, man. I don't understand why we are not. Like, kind of doesn't make any sense. Unless I really screwed up by not taking that desperate ass kiss to her. I can go give her a kiss now. That probably will start something, wouldn't you think? Here, Morgan, have a freaking sugar cake, pal. Interesting. Interesting, right? Delicious. I bet you we can do it now. Watch. <laughs> Close your eyes, friends. Because if we're about to get it in, we're about to get it in. That one, you. It is cold in my tent all alone. Hell, all you need is sugar cakes, friends. You don't need anything else. I guess we were just under approval with Morgan. Or are we just... I have no idea. Sure. Well. And... What do you want me to do about that? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I find you quite warm. <laughs> I think you're quite cold. You're as cold as ice, Morgan. I love it. Let's go, let's go see this tent of yours then, huh? So you shall come to my tent? But whatever shall we do in that tiny little space together while we wait for it to warm? I'm sure we'll think of something. Good. Then let us waste no more time with foolish talk. Yeah, buddy. Close your eyes, kids. PG sex scene here. I see the stories they tell of Grey Warden endurance are not exaggerated. Hell yeah, baby, I'm an up all nighter. How about we go for round five? What do you say? <laughs> do we really need to talk? Do we really need to talk? Ah, uh, there are stories, huh? <laughs> Indeed, there are. The unanswered question, of course, is whether the endurance exists because of the taint within you, or because the Grey Wardens are by nature so very healthy. I enjoy the thought that tis a little of both. Natural prowess driven by a darker side. So what now? That is entirely up to you. Simply know that I have no designs on your independence. I wish only to do what I desire, and if that coincides with what you desire, then so be it. And should you decide not to continue our misadventure, then so be it. Very simple, is it not? Hmm. What about love? Does that even enter the picture here? Oh, now you ruin the mood by speaking profanities. Silly man. Come then, let us be off before the others begin to stare. Witch gone wild. All right, friends. Cool. Well, I guess we just needed to get her approval up more, huh? Give her some damn sugar cakes. What's up, Alistair? You see that shit? Something on your mind? Of course. What changes uh, about you after joining, man? You mean other than becoming a Grey Warden? Sure, yeah. I mean, you've been a Grey Warden longer than me. Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too. And all I got was, you'll see. So he wouldn't tell you then? Oh, it's not that Duncan wants to keep it a secret. It's just that the Grey Wardens don't discuss it much. I gather it's not a pleasant topic. The first change I noticed was an increase in appetite. I used to get up in the middle of the night and raid the castle larder. I thought I was starving, 
I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last, and <laughs> my face all covered in gravy. When I'd look up, the other Grey Wardens would stare, then laugh themselves to tears. You know, I haven't really felt anything like that. Really? I saw you eating dinner the other day. Savage. Yes, well, you know. Ah, yes, the classy camaraderie of two men traveling out in the open. I take it you were like this before the joining, then. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. Duncan said it was part of how we sense the Darkspawn. We tap into their... Well, I don't know what you call it. Their group mind. And when we sleep, it's even worse. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. How is it for you? I mean, yeah, we know what you mean with the nightmares, man. I can imagine Eridan's probably seeing the uh, Archdemon multiple times in crazy vivid dreams, man. Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Others have trouble sleeping their entire life. They're just more sensitive, I suppose. Everyone ends up the same, though. Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. That's how a Grey Warden knows his time has come. Time has come? Oh, that's right. We never had time to tell you that part, did we? Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. You've got 30 years to live. Give or take. The taint. It's a death sentence. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it. When the time comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. It's tradition. Why Orzammar, though? You'll always find Darkspawn down where the Dwarves are. The oldest Grey Wardens head to the Deep Roads for one last glorious battle. Not that there's a shortage of Darkspawn during a Blight, but that's the tradition. The Dwarves respect us for it. And you wondered why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. And there you have it. I mean, I guess I understood. I, I never really wondered. You know, Duncan... He started having the nightmares again. He told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. Hey, it was still a worthy death, man. He held his ground and he probably killed freaking hordes and hordes of Darkspawn. I mean, it wasn't... We don't all don't get to choose our death, obviously, but... I mean, at least he did go down fighting. He will be remembered, Alistair, as will the others. I know. Ending the blight should make this all worthwhile, right? Yeah, buddy. What's up, Zev? Did you see that sex scene earlier? PG, baby, we kept our brownies on. I've a question, if I may. The hell do you want, pal? Sure, go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. <laughs> ravage you in a celebration? Hell yeah, buddy. We're gonna ravage you soon. And Isabella, and what's, whatever her name is over there. We're all gonna ravage each other. You think Morgan will care about that? Hmm, probably not. Uh, does your oath expire then? Not precisely. I said I would serve you until you saw fit to release me. One simply assumes that once your Grey Warden business is finished, you would have no need of an assassin to follow you about. Am I wrong? Hey man, I could always use a friend. Indeed. Hmm. I might even be glad to call myself such, come to think of it. It is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? Sure. What's up, Lily? Something I can help with? Can you teach me to be a bard? Sure. Um, I don't think you have the correct aptitude. 
I could give you some pointers, though. You may be able to pass them on to someone you know. Let's just go over there, away from the others. For safety, yes? I expect there shall be daggers flying about willy-nilly for a time. Okay, we have the bard on board. Do you have anything else? Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Why did you decide to come to Ferelden, then? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Orle was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orle and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. What happened to your mother then? Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. What was Cecily like then? She was an elderly lady, very refined and proper. She had impeccable manners and taste, more so than a lot of Olesian ladies. Cecily was also kind. My mother was unmarried and with child. It was scandalous, and Cecily had every right to turn my mother out. She didn't. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dry flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. But enough about that. Let us move on. Freaking scandalous friends. Alright, you freaking chatty Cathy's man. What's on your mind? Uh, hey, you feeling better, old woman? Oh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. Well, I like to make sure all my companions are well, Wen. I like to poke and prod. Well, thank you for your kindness, my dear. It certainly warms these rickety old bones. Is that it? Wen? What's on your mind? Let me ask you something about the circle, pal. I will answer to the best of my ability. How the hell did you even become a mage? People don't become mages. They are born mages. The talent just surfaces later. But you are asking how I ended up at the circle. I was brought there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. I don't remember very much. I was very young then. What about uh, your family? I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm, trying to keep warm. I was found, and the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, and I was never made to feel welcome. The eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray, and throwing anything he could get his hands on at me. And I don't know how it happened, but one day, he just found his hair on fire. Fortunately, there was a large trough nearby. Huh. Well, serves him right, huh? He ran screaming, dripping head and all, to his mother. I was shut up in the barn, with a bowl of water and a crust of hard bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. Were the Templars mean to you? One of them ignored me, but the other was kind to me. He gave me sweets and even sat me on his shoulders once when I wanted to look over a high wall that ran along the road. I'll never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew I was home. Well, when you know, thank you for the great story. Well... That's about all there is to my tale. That's how I came to the circle. All right, Wen. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for your freaking story from back in 1780 something in the whole decrepit age or whatever the hell it was. That I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes 
would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Delicious. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, you figure he'd probably been eating Darkspawn. Don't listen to Alistair, he's full of freaking rubbish, man! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Alright, Chael. Good grief, friends. Freaking talking to everybody here, huh? I've watched a lot of humans in my time. It should be aware that I've decided that it is not much like any of them. That's because I'm not human, Chael. Oh, it's not just that. Well, I'm sure that's part of it, but it's not only that. Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Some breed of flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings? Wasn't our... wasn't our parents, uh... Our dad, like, the keeper or something? Or second? I... I can't remember. But yeah, very likely. I am Dalish, after all. Then that must be it. The humans have always spoken about elves being inferior, but obviously this is their own stupidity talking. I would appreciate if it didn't spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. Yeah, I'll keep it to myself, Shell. Thanks. Now, let us crush something into a fine paste before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. Perish the thought, Shale. I would never. You know, Bodon, I would love to sit here and talk to you, pal, but we gotta get something going, friends. Jesus. Well, at least we had some uh, bumping and grinding, though, huh? Hell yeah, baby. Indeed. We need her. I'm gonna crush somebody yes. in the pace with Shale. And I would like to take yes. Zevron as well. This should be interesting. Um, Venerum, why not? We still have a few more stuff. Man, we should have did this. Because we can turn that shit in. Right? Speaking of which, let's go do that, actually. Hold on. How the hell do I get out of here? There it is. What was this, refugees? Hell with it. Let's go do it real quick. You freaking... What we got going on here? Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Darkspawn on the way in. Darkspawn? You don't freaking say. Right, Darkspawn. We killed a whole band of them on the way up from Lothering. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? That's the guys we gotta stop that. Accusing somebody of blood magic and he's going to get them caught. So, yeah, we're here to stop you, pal. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait, you're serious? I guess we can intimidate him. Hmm. Like. I don't know what to do here because, like, there's so much more important shit to be done in this world right now than just going to the Chantry and telling about a damn mage. That mage might even be fighting Darkspawn for all we know. Let's just kill him. Fuck him. You look pretty tough, but we just fought Darkspawn. I think we can handle a few losers in armor. Let's see what you've got. Sure. You will squish satisfyingly beneath my oh foot. yeah. You know, I don't think I did anything with Shale's tactics. What do you got going on, Shale? Just a bunch of shit? Uh... Damn it. Scrapper. Slam? What's slam? What's Quake? Freak, we don't want to use in Quake. 
Enemy. Nearest visible. What is... You know what? Hell with it. We'll mismake our tank. Wait, the retin. Let's do... A strice. Precise striking. There you go, Shale. Is it I don't know... Jeez, Shale. You got a lot of shit going on here, pal. <laughs> Let's just... You know what? Have fun, Shale. I'll probably yeah, really? want to switch to her. <laughs> You're done for. Oh, we don't have a healer. Shit. How does that feel? How does that feel, pal? Eat that one too. Go get him, Shale. I want to be Shale, actually. I'm gonna go rock some out his face off. Come here. Yeah, eat that. Are we hit them. Hell yeah, Shale. So, let's let's get some of our stuff fixed here, because I don't know what the hell. Because I can probably switch to Shale. Taunt. Tank form. I think this is DPS one or yellow. What is this? Stone aura? How's that do? Holy freaking moly, Shale, what are you doing? Let's just put that over there, because I don't know what the hell that does. Excuse me. All Verizon strikes? Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> almost killed everybody. Hell wow. yeah, Shale. Look at her. All right, let's get the dinner room, shall we? Or hold on, we're not even making it to the dinner room. <laughs> let's go to this freaking other quest. Wait, Aaron didn't freaking level up. Yippee! Um. I'm gonna give him more willpower. And then... Brighten an appearance, hell yeah, baby. I don't want Aridin using taunt. Let's do... Two-handed sweep. Shield wall? We don't even have these abilities anymore. Indomitable. That's fine. Running appearance. Cool. Well, let's head over here and do whatever the hell this is. What's up, guys? Having fun? We have no healer here, so this should be freaking interesting. Get Shale on board. We're gonna kill it. I hate to say that all these guys are probably done for. Good Zeb. All right, Zeb's wrecking over here. Slay them all. <laughs> You're done. Get Shale on board over here. Oh, God. Holy moly, Shale! Um. See when we get down here. 
<laughs> Damn it, Shale. You almost had it. He resisted. We got two guys are down, Liliana. We could have used, but we still got some people alive still. I need Lily on him. Brucey, heal yourself, pal. How do I heal Brucey? Can he even use these? I don't think he can. Sorry, right, Brucey. Brucey's done for. Can we heal? All right, Devour didn't work. Gonna take a potion. I should have thought about this before. before. Oh yeah, baby. Hang in there, Leona. Look at her up close archering. There we go. Frightened appearance, baby. Good night, Liliana. Kill that guy, Lily. Will you? I shall. You're done for. Let's take a lesser. Come here, you freak. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Aridan saves the day again. Holy freaking moly. That was a rough one. Did we save anybody? Yeah, we saved somebody. <laughs> right. Remind me not to go without a healer. Yeah, well, at least I'm definitely doing the deep roads without a healer, for sure. But... Inventory is freaking full? Oh my fucking word. We need to go back here. Take that. In case there's any garnets on these guys. Probably not. Was that it? Oh, thank you, Maker. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not the Maker, but thank you. All right. Let's go back to camp. We need to sell. We can't go this way? Ah, oh, come on. Let's get started. We'll go back to camp. We need the cell and then, um... You know, I'm thinking about it. We'll probably just get the dinner room next time. Because we have a lot of shit. I think I owe you an explanation for when? what happened earlier. Yeah, I mean, you had me quite worried there, old woman. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. Obviously you did. I mean, you're standing right here. Or well, you're standing right here, you know? Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. So you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contained spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known, because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. 
It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Then I guess we better make the uh, most out of that time, huh? Yes, that we will. Alright, when? Well, let's sell some shit off the boat on, and like I said, we'll come back and then we'll head to Denerim. That will probably bring. Is anything I can do for you? Please, when, I guess? Please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods, my Come boy. Come on, boat on. Just give me it there. Like. Longsword, what is this? Five? Freaking Nug Crusher, friends. We have so much shit. Holy freaking moly. Here for. What is that one? Sell it. Okay, to sell it all. Is, I'm get. Is, did we get this from? Was that considered Duncan's armor? I guess. What was that? Yeah, some of these are pretty good. See all the red rat? You know... Um... I guess we'll mess with that stuff next episode people stuff anyways my friends I'm going to uh, save here and head out um we'll do Liliana's next I need to go to Denron because there's some more quests there I would like to pick up the one with the crows and obviously that's why I want to take Zevron there and I also want to do the pearl stuff and I don't know if we're gonna do that just yet because we need to harden her first because I want to make it a lot of fun when we actually go there but anyways friends take it easy until next time see y'all then take care